Hello guys, Life Hackster here. Today, we are going to check out the new floodlight camera from Eufy. I'm interested to see how this light cam performs and see if it will stack up with my Ring floodlight camera, which I've been using for more than two years now and has been working day in and day out. So we will be checking out the features, do the unboxing, set up, and we'll initially install this in my backyard and we'll run the usual tests. And if this UV floodlight cam performs well, I'll be installing this in my garage area to replace my ring floodlight temporarily so that I can compare how it performs and we'll have an accurate comparison video between these two floodlight cams. So we will see. Let's check out the features. So this is the UV by Anchor floodlight camera and it records in 1080p full HD. It records in color night and day. It has adjustable brightness, 2500 lumens. It has free 7-day local storage. It is weatherproof with an IP65 rating. It has motion detection. It has a 140-degree camera's field of view and has a smart siren. This camera will record in color at night to capture more details. The spotlights are 2500 lumens light output. No subscription or cloud recording. The camera records in a 4GB memory inside the camera. Real-time notifications. 256-bit data security. 100 decibel siren. It has two-way audio. Time to open up the box. We are going to check out the small blue boxes first. Feedback card. Mounting paperwork. A window sticker. The quick start guide. On the second box, we have an S-hook that will be used for installation screws and machine screws. We have the mounting plate and the central screw. Then the screw cap. We have the camera itself. At the back, Eufy pre-installed this with an extension plug so that we can set it up indoors first. Good idea, Eufy. Just a quick note guys, this floodlight cam just like the Ring floodlight camera needs to be installed in a junction box. Mostly, you're going to purchase this to replace an existing floodlight or light fixture that is already set up in your home. Technically, you'll be able to install this like with a plug just like what Yuffie did, but you will still need a junction box to install the camera because the mounting plate is designed for a junction box. We will remove this taped cover to check out the floodlights. 2500 lumens bright. You can then adjust to position the lights. The base and the lights are metal and the camera itself is plastic. You can maneuver the camera to turn to wall mount position and also loosen the light's arm to position it in place. So we have two LED 5000 Kelvin temperature 2500 lumen lights. On the camera unit, we have the camera lens, light sensor, infrared LED, mic and speaker, and below it is the PIR motion sensor. In the back, we only have the wire sticking out that you need to connect to your junction box. Black for hot wire, white neutral, and green for ground. Which Yuffie conveniently connected it to a plug so that we can test and set this up indoors first before installing. Time to set this up. First, download, sign up, and sign in to the Yuffie security app. Scroll down and click Add Device. Click Floodlight Cam. Click Next. Make sure the camera is plugged in and the status LED is solid red. Mine has been plugged in, so click Next. And yes, it is flashing red. Push the sync button on top of the camera. Click flashing white. Type in your Wi-Fi's password and click next. And wait until the floodlight cam is connected to your network and click next. Name your camera, which I'll choose garage for now and click next. And it is now connected. We'll test out the live view. So just click on the thumbnail. Yup, it works. Let's check out the settings in the app. You can toggle the lights to turn on or off. You can record the current view and it will be saved in your phone's album. Click the scissors icon to save a snapshot which will also be saved in your phone's album. Mic icon, push and hold to start two-way talk. Speaker icon to listen or mute. We have the alarm to manually activate the siren. Events icon to view recorded footage. Moon icon to turn on or off night vision. We have the settings where we can turn on or off the camera, auto night vision, snooze, and logo watermark. Then we have the lighting settings where we can adjust the brightness when controlled manually, during motion, or when in schedule mode. 
motion triggered lights where we can adjust the sensitivity of the lights turning on when it detects motion. And we can keep the lights on for 30 seconds to 15 minutes when motion is detected at night. Then there is an option to set a schedule of the lights to turn on or off. Then we have motion detection and this is for the camera. So the camera and the lights have two separate motion settings. We can adjust the sensitivity from low to high. And we also have motion zones to customize the monitored area and you can set up to 4 zones. We have the recording settings where you can adjust the clip length from 30 seconds to 2 minutes when it senses motion. And can change the re-trigger interval which I'll always set this to 0 so that there will be no cool off period. And I'll be notified when motion persists. And you can also set to stop recording when the motion stops. Turn on or off the motion detection LED. We have audio settings where you can turn on or off the mic and the speaker and set the alarm volume. We have camera storage. This floodlight cam has a built-in 4GB or I guess 3.6GB of storage. This is not removable or upgradable. Eufy uses eMMC for storage and with 30 video clips per day and 1 minute per recording, the 4GB memory can store around 14 days worth of recordings. We then have Wi-Fi connection, time settings, and device info. Time to install this floodlight camera in my backyard. Remember, you need to have a junction box and house wiring set up to install this floodlight cam. For this testing, I have rigged up a junction box. First, make sure that the breakers or the power is off. Then remove the existing light fixture. First thing you need to install is the mounting plate. Screw it in with the two included screws. Then using the S-hook, you can hang one end in the junction box and hang the camera on the other end. This is so that you will have two hands to connect the wiring. Screw in the two wires using the wire nuts. Black wire to black, white to white, and green to green, which is the ground. Tuck the wires in and position the floodlight cam and screw in the central screw to secure the camera to the junction box. Finally, cover the central screw head with a screw cap. And that's it. It is installed. Wall mounting is the recommended installation for this floodlight cam. You can install it in a ceiling or under the eaves, but because of the angle of the camera arm, it needs to be installed way up high, 9 feet and above at least. The camera will have the angle down look. Time to do some testing. So this is the video and audio quality of the Eufy floodlight camera. So this is the video clarity test for the Eufy floodlight camera. And this is at 10 feet, 15, 20, So this is the video quality of the UP flat light cam and this is a 10 feet, 15 and this with the flood lights on, 20, 25, 30. So this is the video quality of the UV cam floodlight and with the infrared LEDs on and the floodlights are off and this is at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25. So we are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the UV floodlight camera. And also, oh, I have my LTE connection and also test and check and see how fast it opens up uh, when you get the notification. So let's check it out. 1207.
Okay, we got notified. And let's open it up. There you go. Okay, got notified. Let's open it up. Okay, it's 12.08, so I set the uh, UV floodlight cam uh, to record every minute and also the re-trigger time at zero seconds. So, we should get notification again. Let's check it out. Yep, got notified. Check it out. Let's see how fast it opens up the app. This is the audio coming out from the UV floodlight camera. So we are going to test the maximum detection distance of the UV floodlight cam and I've set my sensitivity. And I'm set my sensitivity to level 5 and I have my motion zones going. So let's check it out and let's go wide first and we'll go at 30 feet. So we're right here at 30 feet. There you go. Got detected at 30 feet. So I've been testing the UV floodlight cam uh, since this morning and I found an issue and this is on their motion detection. I did the uh, maximum distance of detection earlier and it was working around 30 feet and now I couldn't get it to detect me so I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, it might be a bug in the system, it might be a software or firmware uh, issue or, or hardware. Hopefully it's not, uh, it's not hardware. But anyways, I'll show you. I got my settings to the highest sensitivity right now. Hold on. So as you can see right here, a motion detection is on the highest sensitivity and I got my activity zone which is the whole almost the whole screen and as you can see there's a bug here I can't go back there's no back arrow right here so I have to save this I have to actually move this around a bit and then save it now there's an arrow so now save it and I can go back all right so highest sensitivity Let's go wide and let's go 30 feet first and see if we're going to get detected. It's 30 feet. Nope. How about 25? Nope. How about 20 feet? Nope. No detection. How about 15 feet? Nope. Didn't get detected. How about 10 feet? I just got detected at 10 feet. How about 10 feet? Nope. How about 15 feet? So there's definitely an issue right here that Yuffie needs to address. Uh, right now it's not reliable, the motion detection. What do you think guys? Right now the Yuffie floodlight cam is not a reliable security camera just because of the issue it has in motion detection. A major part of my testing was trying to find out what caused the fluctuation in detection distance. I tried different settings, booted up the camera, power cycled my phone, and the motion detection is just hit or miss. 
I'm hoping they can fix this. I'm not sure also if this is specific to the camera that I have. Everything else in the floodlight cam works and the video and audio quality is about the same as the Eufy Cam E, which is pretty good for a 1080p camera. Aside from the motion detection issue and somewhat me trying to nitpick, Eufy should just have made this camera 4 or 5 megapixel if not 4K. Also, the built-in recording needs to be backed up either to a cloud or to the Eufy base station if you have the Eufy Cam E. And talking about other Eufy cameras, Eufy needs to have a better integration between their camera lines. Right now, when you go to security or the mode section of the app, each camera will have their own home away and disarm modes. There should only be one, and the user can pick which cameras needs to be armed on those modes. Also, Yuffie, you need a black version of this. At this time, this floodlight only comes in white. Any questions? Comment down below. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click that little bell icon so that you'll get notified when I upload review videos like this video, comparison videos, product updates, and long-term reviews. Thank you.